happiness and wishes fulfilled to the three of swords in reverse it brings you healing forgiveness optimism it eliminates your fear of the unknown to the world in reverse it heals everything the queen of cups in reverse the loss of love the heartbreak um the Hi everyone, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are you? It's been a minute, right? It's been a minute, but I'm back and I'm back full force and I'm back permanently and regularly, right? If you guys wanna hang around to the end of the video, we'll do some chit chat and I'll kinda of tell you sorta of how things have been going with me and why I've been gone so long and all of that good stuff, but I'm back with a vengeance and I'm ready. Are you guys ready? This is a general reading. What does that mean? Course. Well, that means that you very well may see a thread of your life in this reading. But just like you are an individual and I am an individual, so are the journey of our lives. And each and every circumstance, situation, and person in your life is different from everybody else. So just because you see a general overall theme, like the weather cast, right? A general forecast, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's about you and your area, okay? So if you see something in this reading that you would like confirmation, clarity, understanding, wisdom, or guidance about, please do get your cards read. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. And if I don't float your boat, by all means, have your cards read by somebody who does, okay? All right, let's hop into this. All right, if you're new to this channel, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. We're about to throw down some deep thoughts about your life through the tarot cards. So pull up a chair, hunker down, settle in, get you something to drink, something to smoke, something to kick your feet up on, and let's hop into some serious deep thoughts about your life. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and jump straight into these cards for you, okay? All right, this is just a very direct, straightforward reading. Um, it's, it's just so straightforward. So the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There has been a lack of focus. Um, to the three of pentacles in reverse and a lack of teamwork. So there has been some kind of disconnect with somebody or something in your life that um, is bothering you. It's bothering you. The eight of pentacles in reverse. This is perfectionism to the six of swords in reverse. A lot of water under the bridge. So what this is telling me is that you're kind of scared you're kind of scared to broach this subject matter because there has been a lot of water under the bridge between you and whatever this is for you. It's a general reading, right? If this was a personal reading, we would know exactly what this is, but we don't because it's general. So whatever this is, you are hesitant to, to rectify the situation because there's a lot of water under the bridge. The Six of Swords in Reverse is also about can't move on, right? And this bothers you so much that you can't move on from it, right? Okay. The Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. This is an overinvestment of time and effort. And you're wondering if... It is an overinvestment of your time and effort to, to even address this situation because there is so much water under the bridge, right? Strength comes in and says that, um, you are, um, you don't need to be strong. You are strong about this situation. So this kind of tells me that it's like, eh, I could go either way. I could just really go either way. Temperance comes in and says that you've been very tempered very tempered you've been you maybe possibly waiting for this the other side of this to reach out to you um but you, you you're being tempered right you haven't reached out you haven't tried to rectify the situation you've just been chilling on it the ten of cups happiness harmony um that's what you are hoping for in the situation you're hoping to re-glue something that is broken the two of pentacles in reverse though this is disorganization in this in the realm of security right you don't know 
if you should reach out, right? That's why you're being tempered. You just don't know if you should reach out. The Ten of Cups also tells me perhaps you don't want to upset the apple cart in somebody else's life by reaching out. So you're just being tempered. But there's disorganization inside of you and you don't like the way that that feels. The Ace of Wands in reverse. This is delays and frustration and inability to manifest um, a new beginning somehow because the nine of swords in reverse you feel hopeless you're like ah you know ah but strength comes in strength comes in and trumps your hopelessness tell me about strength here a little bit for scorpio yeah look judgment in reverse exactly you are making a decision to stop not making a decision Judgment in reverse is ignoring the call. And it's taken you a lot of internal strength to ignore your desire to reach out and fix this situation, right? But I think you're finished with all of that, right? Look, the seven of pentacles in reverse, limited success or reward. That's what you're afraid of. You're afraid you're going to reach out and the other side of this situation is not going to reciprocate. Tell me a little bit. Tell me a little bit more. Tell me a little bit more. The hiccups. I always have the hiccups when I channel. I don't know why. But I don't know what that's about. Tell me more. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. The six of pentacles, right? You want to give and receive and share. You want to bury the hatchet. Scorpio, you want to bury the hatchet with somebody or something. You do. You want to bury the hatchet. And lo and behold, the princess of cups. This is you sending a message of, of, of feelings. Now, it's not a big vomiting of feelings, which Scorpio really doesn't have the tendency to do anyway, right? This is just a little text. It's a little check-in. It's a little, hey, how you been? How you been, baby? <laughs> how you been? That's what that is. To the four of wands in reverse in hopes of stabilizing the instability between the two of you. Okay. The, her the hermit in reverse, withdrawal and disconnection. There has been nothing between the two of you for a long time. Hence, being right underneath the, the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles, right? There's been nothing between the two of you for a long time since the break in the foundation of your relationship. Whether this is family, friends, home, community, job, love. Okay, there has been no communication since the breakage of the foundation between the two of you. The devil in reverse, but now you're releasing your limiting beliefs, right? What are your limiting beliefs? There's too much water under the bridge. It's it's an overinvestment of time and effort. They're not going to reciprocate. Those are your limiting beliefs, and you're releasing those limiting beliefs to justice because you want to speak your truth. You want fairness and justice in this situation. You're tired of it being the way that it is. To the emperor, this is you taking control of the situation. This is you maturing. This is you growing up and putting on your big shoes and stepping into the role of authority in this situation. This emperor is you, Scorpio, deciding to take control. The emperor as well in the center of your reading. This entire reading is about you taking control of this situation. Wanting the good, the fair, the right, the just. That's what you want in the situation and you're taking control. The seven of pentacles in reverse. Limited success or reward though. I actually think this is more about obstacles to the long-term goals. You being in this situation is an obstacle to your long-term goals. You feel intrinsically on the inside that you have to fix this once and for all. Let the cards fall where they may. No pun, no pun intended, right? Let the cards fall where they may, but you are going to, to, to handle this situation. The sun in reverse. Deep down inside though, you're not real optimistic. To the three of pentacles in reverse, you're not real optimistic that this person to the five of swords in reverse is open to change. Um, you're not. The, your person that you're, that you're, the, your, the situation that you're looking at is the queen of cups. You have feelings for this person and you know this person has feelings for you. 
to the nine of pentacles you want to bring this situation to a culmination the page of swords in reverse the all talk no action undelivered promises bullshit that has gone down in this situation in the past to the ace of cups in reverse you have repressed emotions about what went down and you're tired of carrying this baggage with you and you want to clear the air once and for all Hence, the Princess of Swords. This is you reaching out to clear the air. The Princess of Cups, the Princess of Swords. This is you communicating, Scorpio. What do you want? You want the star. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. You want to manifest hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Might I add that the star is also about your spiritual path. And what this is saying, being major arcana, all of these major arcana, right? The emperor is saying, take control, right? The, the star is saying, when you do this, there will be hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. This is part of your spiritual path, Scorpio. Coming to terms with whatever this is for you is blocking your spirit, is not <laughs> coming to terms with what this is for you, Scorpio, will open the blockage that you have to your spiritual path, okay? Spirit's trying to lead you somewhere, but this is something that you have to take care of first. It's an obstacle, right? The magician manifesting this, manifesting it, doing it, right? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that used to hold title in your life, but does not anymore. To the Six of Wands in reverse, a fall from grace, a state of disrepute. This is fixing a situation. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is also about discord in the family and financial instability. This could be about job. This could be about family. This could be about friends. It could be about love. But whatever this is about, you are taking control of the situation and you are putting out messages to, to, to do that. Okay. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Because you don't have enough clarity, right? You want truth. You want you want the Ace of Swords in the upright. You want understanding and clarity. The Page of Wands in reverse. You don't understand why there has been no progress in the situation. To the Death card. You, Scorpio, the card of Scorpio, you are putting this situation to bed. You are ending the way that things are and transforming into the way that things will be, whether this person reciprocates or not. To the two of cups, you want partnership, a unified relationship with this person, and you want to fix this. The eight of swords in reverse. This is releasing the mental and coming out on the other side with a new perspective, a new perspective about the ace of cups, about your feelings, about love, about creating um, something new in this situation to the two of wands in reverse, your fear of the unknown. You are putting that to rest and you are pushing forward to get emotional fulfillment. The king of swords, you're going to speak your truth. These little messages right here, test in the water, uh, when those actually go through, you're going to speak your truth with the king of swords and you're not going to waste any time doing it because there is no time to waste. There's already been a shit ton of time wasted um, with no communication, nobody knowing what the hell's going on, why, who, what, where, when, how, nothing. There's been too much time wasted. So when this does go, you are going Going to go in hard with the king of swords and you're going to speak your truth and you're going to demand truth back hence the ace of swords right absolute mental clarity absolute mental clarity about the eight of wands in reverse why there has been resistance why there has been no movement in the situation to judgment you are making an absolute black and white decision that is changing the trajectory of the course of your path hence the spiritual path with the star card right you are making a black and white decision about what direction you're going to go in and that is speaking your truth with the king of swords you're done playing games in this situation scorpio and you want this off of you one way or another if this person reciprocates and it turns into a good thing awesome and if it doesn't that's okay too right 
the Four of Cups, contemplating, reevaluating what it is you're going to do, making a plan, death in reverse, a um, little bit resistant to, to, to doing this, because um, this takes a lot of courage. This takes the courage of the emperor. This is the culmination of all four kings, right? This is the courage of all four kings in the tarot. You have your mind straight. You have your emotions straight. You have your sense of being, your sense of security straight, and you have your passion straight. And you are coming into this reconciliation um, with your head on straight, right? Death in reverse. Um, this is a personal transformation that you've had, a personal transformation about the nine of wands in reverse, your hesitancy, your defensiveness, your paranoia, you're closing that all up and you're throwing it out to the three of wands. You're planning, you're having some foresight and you are, are, are just waiting when the time is right. The alchemist, you are manifesting the right time to do this. The seven of cups in reverse, the diversionary tactics, the no communication between the two of you or the five of you or the 10 of you, whatever this is, right? Nah, -uh. the three of cups, you want to reunite and reconcile the seven of swords, all the betrayal and the deception and the shady behavior and all the bullshit that's gone on between the two of you lovers. Nope. You're coming through with the, with the, the prince of swords, the knight of swords, and you are taking action to 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 cure this issue the ten of pentacles in reverse the broken foundation of the relationship to the chariot mm -mm, no more you're moving forward you are taking action the chariot is about having the control the determination and the willpower to take the action that is necessary to achieve success and by doing that that is the vehicle for your spiritual path the Four of Pentacles in reverse to the Three of Swords to the Seven of Wands. Self-protection because of heartbreak that has happened in this situation in the past. Feeling overwhelmed to the Six of Cups when it comes to reuniting and reconciling differences with this person. The Ten of Wands in reverse. It's been a heavy load, but you're ready to unload the heavy load. Five of Wands. All of the conflict to the Queen of Swords and the Hierophant. Mm -mm, no more. You are committed to speaking the truth. You are committed to reaching out and clearing the air with this person once and for all. The Prince of Pentacles in reverse. It's been stuck like this for a long time, Scorpio. A long time. To the world in reverse and temperance in reverse. It's time to balance out the realignment. It's time to balance the imbalance and get some personal closure in the situation. The moon, this is your feelings, right? This is you in your intuition, in your subconscious mind, coming to terms with everything, feeling your way through the situation. Um, hmm. Based on some of these cards, you may be dealing with the Pisces. If you're dealing with the Pisces, go look at the Pisces reading. Um, it's it's kind of similar a little bit. Okay. The fool in reverse, right? You don't want to be foolish. You don't want to be reckless. Um, but you are looking into the future and your short-term immediate focus is the Ace of Pentacles. It is manifesting a brand new opportunity in the situation. Five of Cups in reverse, moving on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment, getting some forgiveness and apologies in the situation. Justice, right? You want justice. You want justice in the situation. Fairness, truth, honesty, accountability. That's what you want. To the hangman, more Pisces, right? To the hangman, um, this is you planning to, 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 to figure it out. It's also you thinking um, about all of the disappointment that has happened. <coughs> Excuse me thinking about all of the disappointment, right? The abandonment of the situation, everything that's happened in the past. And in the hangman energy, you're pausing, you're surrendering, you're processing, and you're coming out on the other side with a new perspective. That's your plan. You're making a plan as to how to change the situation. The six of wands, you want victory, progress, 
and success to the tower the tower moment um what is this tower moment is this the execution of the plan that scorpio is making um what is the tower moment this revelation this awakening spirit what is the tower moment here what is the tower moment what is the tower moment spirit no doubt about that one huh justice in reverse um, I honestly believe that this is supposed to be upright because I saw it spin through the air and land. The tower moment is justice. Tell me, tell us more about justice. Yep, look, justice to the broken heart. So there is um, this communication, you reaching out and communicating with this person. Look, death. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this tower moment is Scorpio deciding definitively out of the hangman energy, deciding definitively to take action on this situation. This is Scorpio's awakening. Okay. Epiphany awakening. Your awakening is that you're getting justice in this situation. And that's just simply how it is to the three of swords getting justice to the heartbreak the sorrow and the grief that has happened in this situation and death bringing it to a fucking ending once and for all one way or another you hope this person wants to reciprocate but you don't care at this point you're like i am cleaning this off of my shelf and i don't want this in my life anymore and i'm bringing this to an end King of Pentacles in reverse to the King of Wands. Um, to Let's see, to the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. Okay, so the King of Pentacles in reverse. Let me just clarify this because I kind of feel that it is you worried about appearances a little bit. Um, you worrying about yeah look okay yeah worrying about appearances so you're a little bit worried how this person is going to perceive you um receive you you're a little bit worried about what everybody else in your life is going to think about this because you done already told everybody that the, about this situation right and now you kind of want to fix it and you're like ah geez i already told everybody what a bitch or an asshole this person is right so you're a little worried about appearances, hence the King of Wands, right? The King of Wands is worried about appearances. Um, the King of Wands um, doesn't care, though. The King of Wands is about the pursuit of achievement and success. And that's what you want here. You want achievement and success. And the King of Wands is trumping the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles is like, well, what is everybody going to say? And the King of Wands is like, you know what? I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I don't. I don't. I might for a split second, but when push comes to shove, I do not care what anybody else says. I am going to achieve and succeed no matter what is in my way. And that's the, the posture that you're taking. Clarified by the Knight of Cups, right? You're going to deliver a message of your feelings because you're breaking free from the mental challenges of betrayal and deception and the bullshit that caused this in the first place. Queen of Pentacles. So you're going after right there, going after your Queen of Pentacles. You are going to pursue this person and try to get them to assume title in your life once again. The Ace of Wands, inspired, passionate new beginnings to the Six of Pentacles to give and receive again with your Empress, the Emperor, the Emperor, the Empress, right? This Queen of Pentacles right here. She used to hold title in your life. He, she, doesn't matter, right? There's no penis and vagina in the tarot, okay? We're just talking masculine and feminine energies. So the Queen of Pentacles, you want her back in your life, right? You see her as the Empress to your Emperor, and you want a turning point in this situation i want to point out there's a lot of taurus cards here too um there are there's a lot of there's a lot the 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 empress is taurus could be libra as well um the knight of the the king of pentacles is taurus the queen of pentacles is earth energy virgo i do believe um there's lots of pentacles here though earth energy let's just round it up to earth energy okay so the wheel of fortune 
um, you want a turning point, a turning point in this whole situation, right? To the Queen of Wands. So why the Queen of Wands right here? So we have uh, we have this person as the Queen of Pentacles. We have this person as the Empress. Why the Queen of Wands? Is this just reiter reiterating Scorpio's intentions of 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 wooing this person? What is this about? That doesn't make sense to me. So the Queen of Wands. I think this is just because we already used the King of Wands back here, right? I think that this Queen of Wands is just representing you, Scorpio. Um, yeah, it is you, right? Because you're contemplating in a defensive posture with the Four of Swords what your next move is going to be. And the Five of Wands, um, you're, you're, you're conflicted on the inside about how it is you are going to deliver the Prince of Cups, this message of feelings towards this person. The Nine of Cups, you wish, you hope, you wish, you hope that your person reciprocates your feelings and your desire to clear this situation up. We have the Queen of Cups again, which is the card of Pisces, right? Give me, give me some closing thoughts on this, Spirit. So, synopsis is yeah look the queen of swords you're going to speak your truth let the cards fall where they may synopsis is there is a situation that has been ongoing for a long time um, that you want to rectify you are coming to terms with the fact that you need the person to you need to be the person that does the initial rectifying of the situation and you're hoping that this person will reciprocate you're hoping that this will end up beautiful but if it doesn't you're okay with that too. You just want to clear this compartment, this, this, this piece of your life off the shelf once and for all. Either way, the sun in reverse. You're not really optimistic, but the chariot says you're going to take some action anyway. Anything else needs to be said here? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else that needs to be said here? Anything else that needs to be said? Yeah, look, look. The Ten of Cups to the Lovers. Actually, this Lovers was in reverse. So the Ten of Cups, right? You want to restore harmony and beauty in this relationship. And the Lovers in reverse says that you want to cure the breakup and the misalignment of values between you and someone else. Home, family, love, work, whatever it is for you. Anything else? Anything else that needs to be said? Anything else that needs to be said? Spirit going once, going twice, going three times. Aha. Uh -huh. Look. Yep. You want a new beginning and a new journey. And the devil represents the devil is the alternate lovers card right and the devil represents the toxicity between you you want a new beginning and a new journey um let's see a new beginning and a new journey um with somebody that you can't shake you just can't shake this situation and you want a new beginning and a new journey high priestess comes in again more pisces we've got I'm not kidding you we've got like six cards talking about pisces in this reading just saying there's a lot of feelings flying around as well but six cards talking about pisces ish ish um the high priestess, right? This is a soul connection. The devil to the high priestess. This is a soul connection. It is. It is a soul connection. Two of swords at the crossroads, right? To the four of pentacle, a four of wands. Um, you want to create structure, foundation, stability, and harmony with this person. You want um, a steady, stable relationship with this person. Page of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises, not no more. You're at a crossroads for your future and you are taking a path and you hope that this person goes, but if they don't, that's okay too. You just want closure. So Scorpio, if there's anything in this reading that you need wisdom, guidance, clarification, confirmation, understanding um, about, 
do get your cards read. Um, don't hold on to this as false hope. Don't hold on to this as your personal reading. Um, reach out and get your cards read. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. And um, yeah, and if I don't do it for you, definitely get your cards read by someone else if you need some clarification and understanding. Um, we can jump into this other person's energy and see how they're going to reciprocate. Um, we can um, explore this entire relationship and we can see how this other person feels about you, Scorpio. All right, that's your reading. Namaste. Now, let's talk about all the stuff that's been going on with me. If you made it this far and you want to hang out and chat a little bit, let's do that, okay? Um, what am I doing? <laughs> if you don't know, if you're new to this channel and you're watching, um, or even if you're not new to this channel, right? I put out a video a while back about huge changes to the channel and things that are going on, right? Um, but of, you know, 80,000 people, only like... 2,000 people watched it, so there may be a lot of you out there watching that didn't watch that video that don't know what's going on. So this is what's going on. So I have decided um, to take an adventure. I have decided to uh, pimp out the inside of a Mercedes Sprinter van and travel the country um, to connect with my clients and the people on YouTube who watch me and to see cool things. I'm a travel bug, right? I am a travel bug. I love to travel. I love to travel. I love to go new places and see new things. I'm also a very earthy person, right? So I like to be out doors. My dog just barked. Hold on. So I like to be outdoors. I like to explore. I like to see things. I like to do things. So what I did is I bought a Mercedes Sprinter van, um, an older one, right? I was going to go balls to the wall and just buy a brand new Mercedes Sprinter van and just totally and completely, just totally um, pimp it out on the inside. But practical side of me took over, right? Practical side of me took over and said, hold up, Dana, what if you hate this? <laughs> what if you hate this? Now you're stuck with a, you know, a $50,000 van, um, more than that with the conversions and everything on the inside. Look at this Taurus colic I got going on right here. Do y'all know that? Most Tauruses have colics right here in the center of their forehead, um, hairline, right? So I thought, hold up, Dana, don't, don't, don't be ridiculous. Let's just hold on for a second. So I bought a used, an older used Mercedes Sprinter van. It's a small one. Okay. And I was a little on edge about the small miss of it. I think it's 144 um, inch wheelbase, right? So it's small. And I've spent the last two months completely and totally redoing this van. I bought it from an air conditioning company and it was used as a shop van. It had nothing in it, right? And so I, I insulated it and put in everything that I need and just totally made it efficient and functional for me. Is it amazing on the inside? A little bit. It's a little bit amazing on the inside, but it's not quite what I wanted, right? Because I had, you know, I had to work with what I had, right? And I didn't want to sink a shit ton of money into a situation like this until I'm sure that this is what I want to do. So I redid the inside of this van. I'm looking at it right now and it works for me. I like it. I think it's adorable. Um, it's, it's adorable but it's not exactly what I wanted, right? Because I didn't want to just break bad and go all in. So it's a starter van for me. It's a starter van, right? If I like this, um, come, there's some four wheelers out there, come the um, possibly Christmas time, right? Maybe sooner, I will um, buy a bigger, better, nicer van, and I will pay somebody to redo the inside because I did this all myself. Every screw in this thing was done by me. Every cut, every screw, everything was done by me. I had absolutely zero help except for my son to help me um, put in the skylight up there, right? Um, so anyway, 
long story short, I have hit the road. I have been doing this for five days now. Five days. That's why I've been MIA from YouTube, right? I was all consumed. I'm project oriented. I'm on, I'm on the cusp of Aries, right? Which gives me the project, the, the climbing the mountain mentality, right? The Pisces is the dreamer in me. The Taurus gives me the work ethic and the Aries gives me the desire to go all out until my project is finished. And that's what I've been doing. So I've been actually living on the road in this van for five days now. Um, I went, um, I, uh, it was a learning curve for the first couple days. <laughs> It was. It was a learning curve for the first couple of days. I'm kind of getting used to it now. I am sitting in the Medicine Bow National Forest in Wyoming right now. It is amazingly beautiful. I wish that I could have done this reading outside so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Um, but the wind, man, there's just wind like crazy and I just can't do this reading outside. Not to mention, I have um, some bees that have just taken a liking to me <laughs> and they are um, always around. They don't bother me. I don't bother them. They're welcome to come in and buzz around if they want to. Um, but um, as long as they stay over here, over there, right? Not going to tolerate a bee up in my space, but we have kind of an agreement. So between the bees that have decided that they really like my camper van, and the wind, I could not do this reading outside. And I'm so disappointed because it's so beautiful. This morning, I woke up to a herd, a gigantic herd of Black Angus cows. I'm going to try to insert a little clip of that video right here. So I woke up to these guys this morning. My housemates. Well, actually, I'm probably on their territory, so... Thank you for your hospitality, my bull tribe. So those were the Black Angus cows that I woke up to this morning. And, and it's amazing, right? Um, it's national forest land, but, you know, farmers have a treaty with the federal government that to, to graze their animals on this land, right? So anyway, I woke up to mooing this morning and a big, huge herd of Black Angus cows surrounding um, my van. And as I was doing my housekeeping and folding up my bed and, you know, doing everything that needs to be done to keep things under control because it's a super small space, right? It's like, let's see, it is six by 11. So what does it put me at? 66 square feet right? Of living space. It's tall. It's super tall. It's six feet tall in the center. I'm only five, five. So that's great for me, right? So I have 66 square feet of living space with six feet of height. And I have to keep on top of everything all of the time. I mean, there is no leaving things for later in this lifestyle because trust me, shit gets out of control real fucking quick. So I'm on top of it all the time. So I had my doors open. This is my the back of my van, right? So I had my doors open, had the side door open and I'm folding up my bed and getting the water ready for the day and, you know, doing my thing. And these cows were just fascinated by me, just fascinated. They spent all day hanging out around my van, sticking their head in here. Cause when they would hear, you know, crinkling pay, they're like, huh, is that food? What? What's going on? What's going on? Um, they actually accidentally destroyed my cooler. <laughs> it's all right. It was just a styrofoam cooler that had extra ice in it and um, some yogurt. <laughs> and I left it sitting outside as I was cleaning things up and rearranging things. And one of those cows got into it and they didn't eat my yogurt, but they definitely destroyed it. So it's super cool. Woke up to a herd of cows. The only bad thing is that now my dog smells like cow shit. <laughs> You know, dogs, he's a uh, half mini Aussie and half um, Yorkie, right? So he's about 20, 25 pounds. And he, he thinks he's a lap dog like a Yorkie, but yet he has the adventurous spirit of um, of a mini Aussie, right? Of an, of an Australian shepherd. So he has found himself some fresh cow patties and has commenced to rolling in them. So yes, my dog is covered in green cow shit and smells like a farm. Today is bath day for that little fucker, right? 
<laughs> so anyway, you guys, that's what I've been doing. I have been just uh, traveling around, getting my feet wet, trying to um, get a handle on this new lifestyle. I'm not going to lie. There are some challenges. There are some challenges um, that I need to come to terms with, right? I'm a little bougie, I'm a little bougie. I don't mind getting dirty, but I like a hot shower at the end of the day. My water system won't be here until the middle of July, okay? I ordered it at the 1st of May, and it won't be here until the middle of July. So I am taking cold water, um, um, gallon jug, bath, and shower, okay? And it sucks. It does. It gets the job done but it sucks. <laughs> so I'm earnestly waiting on my hot water system to get here. I'm installing solar panels um, on Sunday, installing solar panels on Sunday. Let's see, hot water system, solar panels. I got my air conditioner in last week and I am, uh, yeah, there's just some, some adjustments that need to be made. I've rearranged and rearranged and rearranged, and I think I finally got it down. But um, The Gypsy Traveler is the channel that you can follow me and all of this um, van life thing on. Um, I have been, I have uh, had somebody so graciously, thank you for that, Jackie, actually. Actually, it is my ex-husband's wife, okay? She's the coolest chick in the fucking world. She is so cool. Um, love her to death. Um, but um, Jackie pointed out to me that I think I have a misspelling on the title of The Gypsy Traveler. I think I misconstrued a P and a Y. Um, and I'm going to go back and fix that. The channel's not even up and running yet. Y'all are welcome to subscribe. There's a link in the box below. Um, but there's no content, right? I'm working on getting those videos together. Y'all just don't even know how hard. It's not hard, okay? It's not hard. It's it's like super easy. But it's very time consuming to clip together videos and to make something fluid, right? So I'm working on all of that. And I will post on the Gypsy Traveler one big fat intro video about the van and the whole van life thing and then I'll carry y'all with me as I go on my adventures okay and meeting um, YouTube people I will put out a post that says hey I'm going to be in um, Sacramento California on XYZ date at XYZ time at XYZ place if y'all want to come out and hang out by all means please do um, of course it'll be a public place um, so y'all can't kill me in my sleep okay <laughs> not you guys but I'm here to tell you there's some weird fucking people in the world right so I need to be safe about myself so anyway um, I will put out a, a notification probably um, maybe the day before I arrive at the location. And then as soon as the meet and greet is over, I will leave and go to my next destination. So that's cool. Um, um, clients, I have clients, you know, all over the United States, all over the world, but I can't reach y'all across the pond yet. That's, that's next year's adventure. Okay. Um, but I'd like to meet with clients. I would like to have a more intimate, um, situation with my clients, right? The general YouTube crowd will be a public, um, um, gathering. You don't have to pay or nothing. We're just going to hang out, right? Just going to hang out and, uh, and, uh, shoot shit, right? But my clients, the people that I know, the people that I do readings for all the time, that will be a more intimate location. We'll get together and go have dinner or we'll get together and y'all can come sit outside my van and we can drink wine and talk, right? So my clients are a little bit more, um, personal than the general YouTube crowd. Okay. So anyway, that's my plan and that's what I have going on and you can meet me and my poppy do the one who smells like cow shit right now. I promise you won't smell like cow shit when you meet him. Um, but you can meet me. We can hang out, um, readings. Of course, if you guys want a reading, we can do personal one-on-one -on -one readings and, um, yeah. So anyway, that's what I've been doing. That's why I have been MIA on YouTube and, um, yeah, it's all going to stop though. I'm settled 
and I kind of got my setup going on here. It worked fairly well today. It's the first time, right? So there you go, guys. That's what's been going on with me, and um, I will be back with more videos very soon. Namaste.